YouTubers. Hey, today we are going to make some flavored kombucha. Uh, kombucha is a very good thing to drink. It's full of good bacteria for your gut and it's delicious and it's so cheap to make. So um, this is a, a gallon of kombucha that I have made and uh, we're going to open it up and um, make some flavored kombucha. Now in another video, I'm going to show you how to make the kombucha itself. And I really don't know if it's, I call it kombucha. I don't know if it's kombucha or kombucha or kombucha, but I just call it kombucha. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you in another video how to make the kombucha itself. And then um, you use you do that by using what's called a, a SCOBY or a SCOBY. And it's the bacteria that creates the kombucha. So um, I'm going to create a video that shows you how to make the kombucha. And also a video that tells you how you can grow your own SCOBY. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our beneficial bacteria out of there. Now you'll see that this gallon jar is just covered with a... Um, uh, dish towel, a flower cloth dish towel with a rubber band around it and that is to allow the kombucha to breathe but allow, keeps any you know bugs or harmful bacteria from getting inside. Now what you'll see here, let me just grab the camera and take you up there. What you're gonna see is this white gelatin type stuff that's floating on the top is the SCOBY and that is what makes your kombucha. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that out of there along with a little of the kombucha to save for our next batch. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so I've got this Ziploc bag here. It's important to wear some rubber gloves or wash your hands very good and then rub them with some vinegar uh, because that is going to keep your um, kombucha scoby clean and bacteria free. Now you'll see this stuff on the bottom. That is just from the tea that I made the um, kombucha out of. Now I use green tea. I don't like a lot of caffeine in my things. Now what you'll see here is that we actually have two scoobies or scobies. This was my original scoby and this is another layer of it here and you can see that this one is really thick. I've had this sitting longer than it needed to um, but uh, you can see the different layers of the SCOBY there. Now you can split these off and you can give them to a friend or you can um, make several batches at once. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take, let me get a different thing here. We're going to take about a, a cup of the kombucha out so that we can start our next batch. And I might take a little bit more because I might start two batches. Okay. So there we go, we've got our Ziploc bag with our SCOBY and a little bit of starter kombucha in it. And we're just going to put that in the refrigerator until we... Sorry about that guys, I had somebody come to the door and I had to uh, pause things for a minute. Okay, so today we're going to make the lemon ginger flavored kombucha. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jars. Now these jars, I will have a link uh, on Amazon where you can buy these jars. These clear jars I bought on Amazon, these brown ones. There's actually a um, company in my area that makes root beer and uh, they come in these neat bottles. So we buy it and save these bottles and you may have something similar, but I'll put a link on Amazon where you can get these bottles. So the um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your sugar in and it's not much sugar. It's a tablespoon of sugar 
per bottle. And a lot of people are trying to stay away from sugar these days. Let me just tell you that it doesn't end up turning out that sweet because the bacteria that's in the kabucha is going to ferment and it's going to eat up a lot of the sugar. So I like to put the sugar in first because the funnel's dry and the sugar will go through easily. This is just a Tupperware funnel that I have that fits in the neck of these bottles perfectly. All right, so now we've got our sugar in. Now this is some dried ginger um, that I dried and I'm just gonna put like 10 little pieces of ginger in. Just eyeball it, don't, don't count them. Sometimes they get stuck in the funnel, so you don't really need to use the funnel. Now you can make all kinds of different flavors. Um, this is just one of my favorites. When this is cold and in the fridge, it is just so refreshing on a hot day when you've been working out in the garden to come and take a big slug of this. And with the, re the reclosable bottles, you know, you don't have to drink the whole thing. You can drink until you're satisfied and you can just put the rest back in the fridge. Okay, now you can use fr fresh squeezed lemons and I've even um, taken a, a zester and put a little lemon zest in, which is always good. But today I don't have that on hand and I've used the lemon constant, uh, you know, the uh, reconstituted lemon juice before and it works just fine. So we're going to put a tablespoon of that in each jar. And then what you're going to do is after we get the lemon in the jars, we're going to put the kombucha in. Okay. So you're just going to ladle the kombucha in and um, you're going to, I want, I like to fill it to about right there. I like to leave a little bit of a space for some air to get through. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all these bottles and then I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch me fill all the bottles. Okay, now we're just going to seal all the kombucha up. And I ended up with, let's see, six bottles. And you're simply just going to let this uh, sit on the counter and ferment for about three days. Now it's important that you come along at least once a day and relieve the pressure on these bottles because it will start to ferment and start creating a lot of carbon uh, dioxide 
and uh, so you'll need to relieve that pressure. When it gets really fizzy, it's done, and um, you can taste it and decide how fizzy you like it. Everybody's different in their tastes, but we'll come back um, in a day, and I'll show you um, over the next three days what this looks like and kind of what you're looking for. Yeah, and then the